Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. Some of you guys might be wondering why am I just now putting a video up for the subscription here. And what happened, long story short, this box came in September 26th and I usually get it in around the middle of the first month and it's bi-monthly so it comes in every two months. So anyways, I've noticed that not just this box came in late but everything that I get in the mail has been coming in very late. Twice as long, three times as long, everything is taking forever to come in. And this box here, in case you didn't know, it comes from Slovakia so it actually took about two weeks longer to get to me than it usually does. But anyways, this came in September 26th and I was going to film the opening for it the next day on the 27th and then I found out that Hurricane Ian changed direction and it was, was going to go through the middle of Florida and even though I'm on the east coast I would be affected by it. So on the 27th I prepared for the hurricane, put up shutters, collected water, take care of animals, do all kinds of hurricane preparedness stuff and then on the 28th I went through the hurricane and that night at 8 o'clock I lost power which I thought was strange at that time because even though I was starting to get some winds it wasn't that bad for for power to go out to where I live so anyways um, later on the night winds picked up we had some strong winds but everybody's okay here where I'm at the west coast is what really got hit hard but um, we did feel effects on the east coast anyways um, on the 29th, I finally got power back around 4, which was not bad because in the past when I went through hurricanes, we got direct hit from the hurricanes. We went through the eye wall, front and back of the wall. Um, we were without power for a month and we actually went through two hurricanes, Francis and Jean. It was terrible. And I know if it was that bad here where I lived years ago that it has to be very bad on the West Coast and it's going to take them forever to get power back. Anyways, um, I got power back yesterday around 4. That was the 29th. And now here we are on the 30th and I am finally filming the box opening. So that's why it has taken so long for me to film the opening for this video. So let's go ahead and dive into this box and I'll tell you everything about it in case you are new to this subscription box. This box is from BeatingSchool.com by Erica Sandor and this is her Beating School Academy box. This is for the months of September and October 2022. The theme for this month is flowers in the hair and the version that I'm going to open is the fuchsia version there's two other versions there's the yellow and turquoise I'm going to leave a link for this subscription box down there below in the description bar in case you want it and I do recommend that you read up on it and figure out which subscription is best for you because like I said there's the yellow turquoise and pink or fuchsia now this one here the one that I have has the most stuff in it alright so let's go ahead open this up and see what we have in the box so here's a little gift that came with the box and I love these colors especially the purple one and this one here is also gorgeous it looks like citrine teardrops the hole is on the top not the side but those are beautiful they're really thick by the way, look how thick they are. Gorgeous crystals. Okay. So, by the way, I have no idea what's in this. I have not watched any of her opening videos. I am blind. The picture is the only thing that I have to go by of some of the gorgeous things that will be in this box. So I'm going to open it up. Slide that off. Oh my gosh, look at that huge tassel. Okay. This is probably the longest tassel that I've ever seen. Oh wow, there's a hole in the middle. So that means, I've never seen one like this. That means that I might be able to open, let's see, can I get it out? Does it slide this way or the other way? There it goes. I might be able to open the center. Yes! Wow, I've never seen one like this. Look at this. So, I would put a stopper bead down there on a head pin. 
pull it up, I would have to put some beads on it. Like a six millimeter, maybe eight on the top. Then I can graduate it. That's beautiful. Alright, I'm going to shove it back into this little tube. Keep it tidy. Okay, love that. And then... What is this? It looks like ball chain connected to a charm. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. What does it say? I should read, you know, instead of trying to figure it out. Sunshine charm. Gold colored. Oh, oh, okay. For some reason, I was thinking it was an earring. I guess because there's this little post here. But then I was like, no, that's not long enough to be a post. I thought this was the front. But now I'm realizing that this is for maybe a pearl or some kind of a bead, like a half drilled bead to sit on so I would glue that on there and then that would be the charm with the chain that is so pretty and you know this here has a chain on it but you can even go further and add little bead dangles to those there they're calling this a uh, sunshine charm so it's like the sun kind of looks like a flower too but you can have more charms coming down from these little loops there but look, there's little stones in there. And they are prong set. They're not glued in. So that's awesome. I've never seen anything like this before. They always have really neat stuff. I hope I'm zoomed out all the way. I will have to move my box as I go along. Wow. Amand. Mandala charm, gold colored. It's 12 by 53 millimeters, so it's pretty big, pretty long. It's filigree? Yeah. That's really cool. It's hollow. It is gorgeous. She always sends such beautiful little charms and stuff like this, and I'm always wanting to use them when I design a piece. There was that one box she did. I think I did the um, Maharaja Jewels. I think I did earrings with it. And I really wanted to use the charms in it. And I, I didn't have enough time. I was, I was going to do the earrings and then a necklace and uh, I don't know. Something happened that I didn't get to, but look, like look at these. Here again, some more beautiful earring findings. These are gorgeous. Um, I actually have these in my stash, but mine are silver. I kind of do prefer the antique ones more. It says 12 millimeter boho flower ear stud, antique bronze. There's this little hole in the center. So if you want, you can put a stone, pearl in there. Aren't those beautiful? I really love them in the antique bronze. Those are gorgeous. Always the un most unique, beautiful findings, charms. I'm really thinking that I'm not going to be able to fit everything in the frame. I don't know why it seems like my camera is cl closer than it usually is. I'm try to pack it all. Um, I have to go to this closure here. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Three loops on each side. So the uh, bracelet. You know what? I should just get it out. I have it in my drawer. This bracelet here that I made with a previous Beading School Academy box. Everything in this bracelet was from the box. Only thing I used from my stash was the thread, jump rings, and this chain here. This clasp I got in the box. And it is the prettiest box clasp I've ever seen. 
and this was the tulip box I think it was called tulip mania I want to say anyways look at how gorgeous that closure is and this time they gave us another one and this one has more loops it's just a little bit smaller but if you haven't seen this video you gotta go watch it I think I called it tulip bracelet or maybe I didn't I can't remember the name I'll put a picture up for this and whatever the title is in that picture put that in and you'll find the tutorial for that bracelet there's actually three videos I think I did on it anyways let's see it just it says boho flower it almost looks like chainmail and there's three loops man I want to use this so it opens like that it is gorgeous I love the closure these are a uh, 0.9 by 16 millimeter hollow circle gold colored what do they mean hollow is it like a hollow tube or it's empty in the middle because it's a circle I'll see when I get my hands on them um I can't tell they're very light they're so perfectly made they actually look like they're real gold there's no seam they are seamless beautiful I love beading around these and having beads in the center it's a lot of fun okay back in the bag okay more more little closures oh my gosh this is the tiniest toggle look at how precious it's so little 10 by 14.5 millimeter that is so small hidden flower toggle class gold color uh, I guess the the, the uh, loop on it looks like a flower Oh my gosh, it's so cute. See, whenever I have a little closure like this, I want to use this on a small bracelet. Like this bracelet here, it's pretty big. It's like a watch. And this closure was just perfect for it because it's so big. It really does all fit together beautifully. But a little closure like this makes me want to use it on a small bracelet, you know? Okay. Um, what's next? Earring findings. These have butterflies on them. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. That's what it looks like from the side. And here's the front. And it's really incredible because the flower is built in, or not the flower, the, the butterfly is built into the ear wire. But it has the loop there where you can twist it open. I've never seen an ear wire like that. The precious. Okay. And then we have seed beads. 15 ohm Miyuki round seed bead metallic light bronze. Is this the one that I got last time that I used in the bracelet and the earrings? I can't remember. And by the way, if you didn't see my two tutorials that I did with the last box, I will put pictures up now. One was a ring, and I also did a matching bracelet. And I think I got these seed beads in that box, the last box, and I used them in both, the ring and the bracelet. I think it was the same kind is what I'm trying to say. I love those. 
and 15 oat Miyuki round seed bead opaque glazed turquoise. Those are gorgeous. My absolute most favorite color. I love them. And this beautiful yellow here, Delica Beads 11 o Miyuki Delica Beads ma Matted Opaque Glazed Pineapple. <laughs> That's a funny name. Those are pretty. Um, there was a different shade, I think. It might have been a 15 o I can't remember if it was a Delica that I got in a previous box. It wasn't the same as this. I can't remember if I used it in earrings or what. What did I use it in? Eleven Omiyuki Brown Seed Bead Dark Bronze. This one's my favorite. I'll show you the difference. This one's metallic light bronze and this one's dark. But I like this one more. Okay, I'm gonna stack this up here. And then 150 Miyuki Brown seed bead 24 karat gold plated. Holy cow. These beads are so expensive. They're very expensive. Which is probably why there's not a lot in the bag like there is the other ones. They really are gold plated. It's incredible. That is so awesome. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at the pumpkins and the melons. Uh, 11 Omiyuki 2290 Delica Bead Frosted Opaque Glazed Honeydew. <gasps> These are cool. This is this is an unusual green. I haven't had one like this. The ones I have in my stash are more ch chartreuse and they're bright. This one's actually more pale. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera, but it's really unique. To me, it kind of looks like um, a kiwi. The color of a kiwi. Those are cool. I love how many seed beads they give us. They're such a nice variety to play with. They're not limited. Miyuki number 401 FR Spacer Bead Matted Multi Iris. Um, it says Spacer Bead. But it says Miyuki. Is it Toho that makes Demi? The Demi seed beads? Because I have some of those. These are really awesome. I'll have to look into this because I do know that this comes from Slovakia, if they call it a different name over there. But I want to say Toho has the uh, Demis, which looks just like this little ring with a big opening. These are really awesome. I like playing with these. I did make a project with these and I never did a video on it. I was going to, but I just it just didn't end up happening. Uh, 8 by 11 millimeter pumpkin bead jet bronze. These are gorgeous. I recently saw somewhere this in orange with bronze marble on it, and it was the prettiest one that I have seen in this shape. I love these. Oh my gosh, on top of the tassel? Mm, that wouldn't be able to be the very top bead though, because I need a bead to rest inside of the hole. So, you probably wouldn't do those. But wow, there's a bunch here. Ten? Looks like. Chunky, what was the size again? Eight by eleven. I love those. Okay, and these table cut beads, 12 by 18 millimeter table cut, flat drop, yellow. These are gorgeous. Now I am subscribed to Beading School's newsletter, and I saw that she did 
a project with these and she bezeled them like before I've bezeled a uh, the large check glass beads like this the Nautilus or the fossil one I bezeled that and some other ones but I saw that she bezeled these like cabochons and they looked so cool they're really neat and on the side see the Picasso they have Picasso on the side they're really cool These are awesome. I love this color. 9 by 9 millimeter flower bead alabaster green Picasso. These are gorgeous. This color is so pretty. Oh my gosh. We have some cool looking two hole beads in here. Two hole beads is what I've really been wanting to work with lately these have a single hole they are so beautiful so good amount there oh I did use these I was thinking that I used these but I couldn't remember but now I do I used these in the toilet mania box that's where I got them at for this bracelet I used them right here see in between my flowers and my charms and I did tell you guys for this project I wanted to put a catch chain on here so when you take this off you don't drop the bracelet when you undo the clasp it opens like this and it catches because if you drop this and you break those um, daggers you're gonna be very sad so that's why I put a catch chain on this bracelet it's a heavy bracelet Alright, I'm going to put those up there. Looks like my board has moved. Something's moved. Okay. Next we have these. And I can't remember if I've ever tried these before. 5 by 7 millimeter round drop bead. Chalk white. Lila Vega Luster. These are awesome. You know what? There's another drop bead that has two holes. It's very tiny. Really small. I've used that before in a bracelet. I'll put a picture up for that. It's the tiny teardrop bead. It's two holes. It's very pretty. This has a rounded point. The one that I used, the smaller one, has a pointy point on it. Round drop bead. those are cool I like those a lot and I want to go to this what is this six millimeter two hole cabochon chalk white red luster I've used the cabochon bead before um, this one looks different though this looks more like a candy bead to me the cabochon I had had completely flat bottoms and um I've used it, I want to say, in like two bracelets, maybe three. I've used it in a few projects. I will go around, look for the pictures, and I will put them up now. Now this one, the reason why I say this looks more like a candy, and this is 6mm and the candy beads I have are all 8, but this one has more of a rounded bottom. Do you see how it's more rounded? It's not really, really flat like the ones I have. But they would probably work the same because they're the same size. Those are gorgeous. I like this a lot. Um, it looks like she used these in the setting on the box and 
first glance, I thought that those were going to be um, round duos. Okay, we have more here. These are beautiful. I think I might have these in my stash. Or did I use them for a necklace and a bracelet? Maybe. I'll put a picture up. Anyways, three millimeter number six one zero one zero fire polish milky aquamarine. They are beautiful. I don't want to open the bag because I know I'm going to drop them. They're gorgeous. Okay, and then we have some more two hole beads. These are super duos opaque yellow, opaque yellow, silver Picasso. Ooh. These look different than what I have for my Picasso. They look more brown. It looks like they have more of the uh, finish on them than the ones I have. The ones I have look more yellow. I'm just going to take a little bit out so you can see. They're pretty cool. No, I dropped it. Okay. I gotta go to this pink Delica. It is so gorgeous. 11 Omiyuki number uh, 2294 Delica Beads Frosted Opaque Glaze Mauve. These are gorgeous. I love this color. Especially with turquoise and bronze. Very pretty. This is unique. 11 Omiyuki 2301 Delica Beads Opaque Glaze Rainbow Ivory. Oh wow, that's why it looks different. I was going to say, I have an ivory, like Miyuki, sea beads in my stash, but this one has like a, a glaze or like a luster to it. They're saying that it's rainbow. It's very pretty. I like it with the pink. And then, what are these? Have I used these before? Cerizo? No. Mini Dagger. Oh my gosh. It looks like 2, 5, or is it supposed to be a point? I'm not sure. Maybe it's 2.5 by 6 millimeter, but I swear it's a comma. Mini Dagger Persian Turquoise Bronze Picasso. So, I have never used a dagger this small. I've used some very tiny ones. Um, the smallest one I used, I used it in two different rings, flower rings. I'll put pictures up for that. But this one, like I thought that dagger was small. This one's smaller than that one. Color is gorgeous. Persian turquoise is always darker than the regular turquoise. And it says bronze Picasso on it. So those are really amazing. Oh my gosh, I just realized. I love making flowers. Right? And the name of the box is called Flowers in the Hair. Oh my gosh. And that bracelet that I just showed you with the flowers. You know, this one here. Is this going to lead to me making more flowers? 3 millimeter number 5340 Fire Polish Bead Opaque Olive. I love this color. It is so gorgeous. I have this in Super Duos. Beautiful. Love those. What is this? Is this a mini mushroom? 
three by four millimeter mushroom button alabaster green Picasso no way I've never seen this bead so small it is really little I have used this too I know that I used it in a uh, at a silk cord I think it was silk where I weaved beads and I passed the silk through it it can be worn as a bracelet also you can wrap it around your finger um, it can be worn as a headband, a choker I'll put a picture up from what I'm talking about it was a clear and purple mushroom bead Um, I'm trying to remember if I've also made flowers, but I can't remember, but maybe I'll find pictures and put it up for you guys. This is so tiny. I love how small it is. The color is amazing. I think it's the same as the lily beads up there. Okay, and then what is this? Is this check? Five by seven millimeter parachute jade. It's a teardrop, but it's faceted like it's a, like it's a fire polished teardrop. I guess I would say. By the way, this is the regular turquoise, right? And this is the Persian, so you can see how dark the Persian turquoise is. So I haven't seen this one, but I do have teardrops in my stash. Kind of like it. The ones I have, I think, are faceted here on the top, but on the rounded side, it's smooth. And I made earrings with them. Hopefully they have a picture for you guys. Those are unique. Okay, let's see. We have more check fire polish in my favorite color, three millimeter fire polish bead, opaque turquoise. Those are gorgeous. Never get tired of it. We have them again in four, which is great because you always need it in multiple sizes. They are beautiful. Both of those are check fire polish. I think that's check fire polish too. And then, yes, this is the drop I was talking about. So I have this drop, but it's much smaller. It's about this size. And I made earrings with them. I think it was brick stitch that I used. These are cool. Oh wow, there's a lot of clear in there, so it makes it look really neat. See all the clear right here on top of the yellow? It actually looks like there's chunks of glass missing, or it's like faceted inside somehow. I don't know, it looks bizarre. It's really neat though. See how the bottom's round with the Picasso? Those are cool, very cool. There's a huge selection just right here to choose from, and we still have a lot more to go through in the box. We are definitely going to run out of space. Wow, this is so awesome. I've never seen this before. Four millimeter fire polish bead, 22010, dark milky amethyst. This looks like gemstone. This looks like a. Is it lavender or lilac amethyst? Wow, that is so pretty. It looks like gemstone. It doesn't look like glass. Those are gorgeous. I don't think I dropped any that time. Um, I want to compare them to this color. 
because it's kind of mauvey. Okay, I have room for another bag up there. Here is 2mm Fire Polish Jet Bronze. These are so teeny tiny. Very small. It's like an 80 seed bead. Really little. I'll put those there. And then, oh my gosh, yes. This is awesome. I love these. 4mm round beads. Opaque green. They're gorgeous. They're so pretty. Um, I guess that's the same color. I want to say that one's a little bit brighter than this one. But I love those. Okay. Oh, what is this? Is this two hole? Six millimeter round bead. Jet bronze. Oh, it's one hole. Um, I don't think I have this in my stash. There's a nice amount in there. Those are gorgeous. I love those too. And we are still going. This is crazy. Three millimeter round bead. Jet bronze. Those match. That's awesome. I love those too. Wow, we're going to have a lot of options here. A lot to choose from. And you know, sometimes the more options you have, the harder it is to create something, I have to say. Four millimeter Preciosa Bicone bead. Chrysolite opal. These are gorgeous. It's pale, so it's like this blue one here. And yeah, it's a milky. It's a milky green. I can't remember if I've used this color before. I might have used it in rings. And oh my gosh, I love these three millimeter round bead opaque pink. These are gorgeous. I think I have this in my stash, but I have like a mix of pinks, mix of shades that I bought somewhere. I think it was called strawberry mix or something like that. Anyways, they are opaque trucks, pink trucks. They are gorgeous. All of these round beads here. Doesn't say it in the bag. I don't think it does. No, but these are drugs. Check drugs, drugs, drugs. These are drugs. All the round ones that aren't faceted. Okay, more earring wires. Those are cool too. Twenty-six millimeter hippie ear wire, antique bronze. Oh my gosh! I just looked over at the box. There are some amazing stuff. There's some amazing stuff still left in there. This box is the craziest, I swear. Look at that. Those are nice. They have a drop on them. Um, did I use these in my... Uh, was it called Ice Princess earrings? I might have. The ones I had were silver. Or maybe gold. I don't know. I can't remember everything. Over 700 videos. Don't forget it. There's a lot to remember. Okay. Right here. Look at these. 4 millimeter Preciosa Bicone Amethyst Opal. So these come in Swarovski too. But um, it's a different name. I can't remember the name. These are dark dark purple they are so gorgeous perfect quality looking at them I have to say their holes are looking rounded where they're kind of look looking like they are uh, you know like look how round the holes are they look like they're Taraski which I know I can't say that name right and I've tried a million times and I just can't what's this Precious the Naker Half Trilled Pearl. Oh my gosh. So this is for this right here. Remember this little charm I told you? It had a pearl setting. First I thought it was ear for an earring. But one of these I can put on there. That's cool. 
Look at this stone. 27 millimeter round glass cabochon, vintage fuchsia. Fuchsia. It kind of looks like it's ruby to me, or burgundy. Um, I've used this stone before. It was drop dead gorgeous. I used it in a pendant. I made the pendant from the Starry Night box, the Beating School Academy box. I'll put a picture up now. If you want, you can go watch that tutorial. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. I think this is the same size. I th I want to remember. I want to say that I remember. It being 27. Um, I have some fingerprints on it, so I'm going to rub them off. Okay, there it is. It is gorgeous. Now this is the stone. It's on the box. See? That's pretty. Put it back in here. It's heavy, too. Now, um, I did make, a long time ago, that stone, when I got it in that box, I thought that was the first time I got it, but it wasn't. I got it a long time back from another subscription box. I think I got it in red. I did a pendant with it. I think I used iris twos. I'll put a picture up now. So I've actually done two tutorials with this stone here. Okay, and now we have three millimeter Preciosa bicone beads, crystal arm full. These are gorgeous. I've gotten these a few times in this box. They're very sparkly and they look like they're real metal. Okay, and wow, those two together. This purple and that color are gorgeous with the gold. Okay, what else? 8mm Precious Chaton Turquoise. These are gorgeous. My favorite color. So many different shades of turquoise though. Like this one here is more muted. This one's brighter. Right? And then we have this Persian one down here. The Persian turquoise. It's dark. I would say the Persian one's more of a teal. These are so cute. I've used these stones several times now thanks to this subscription box. Before the Beating School Academy, I only used a Chaton, I think, one time, and I made um, a ring with it, but it was a larger Chaton. These are six. Ten millimeter, I'm guessing, Chaton. So, I've been loving working with those little stones. They're so cute. And then we have, I love this color, it looks like a raw honey. 14 by 22 millimeter pear glass drops in metal setting, champagne yellow. They are beautiful. What an awesome color mix. These are nice. It's very pretty. Okay. Holy moly, we are still going. See? This is 8mm Precious Chaton Light Topaz. I thought this was going to be the sunrise color. Something like that. Oh wow, it's turned around the wrong way. These are very golden. Look at how golden they are. So I thought this was the Sunrise something, I don't know if the name's right. I used this Chaton and the, the, the Sun one before. It's a color very similar to this in the Starry Night earrings. I'll put a picture up now.
And these here would look so good in a lot of different projects with so many different colors because they are like golden. They look more golden to me than they do with the yellow. They're really gorgeous. What's the foil like? Hmm. That was going to be gold, but it's like a silvery color. All right. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to try to put it here. Make it in row. 12 millimeter round glass cabochon amethyst. This looks like the one that I used before in this color, but I think it might have been a 10 millimeter for the. I think it was the first bracelet that I did with the Beating School box. I'll put a picture up now. But I can't remember if that was 10 or 12 millimeter that I did. But they are gorgeous. It looks really good with that fuchsia. Man, the color of this is just unbelievable. I didn't know that there was a deep fuchsia. It looks like it's burgundy to me. It said deep fuchsia, right? Uh, vin vintage fuchsia. That's what it's called. It is gorgeous. Okay, and we have one baggie left. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. 8mm Preciosa Chaton Amethyst Opal Pure. I love the pure stones. They don't have a um, foil on the back. That's what the pure means. See? There's no foil on the back. They look amazing. Really gorgeous. Wow. Okay. Here is everything we are getting in September and October's Beating School Academy box. There is so much here, I can barely fit it in the frame. There's stuff that's actually sticking around the edges here that I've just tried to cram in. But anyways, I don't know at this time what I'm going to make, but let me know down in the comments if you would like me to make earrings, a bracelet, ring, necklace, whatever you would like me to make. Just let me know down in the comments and I will do my best. And like I said earlier in the beginning of the video, I will link the subscription box down there below in the description bar in case you want to go and get it and be on the lookout for upcoming tutorials with this box. I might do one big one like before when I've done the bracelets. I, had, I did like a five part video, three part video, or I might just do uh, two other videos. So like earrings and a bracelet or something like that. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I hope that you guys enjoyed this box opening. The beads are so gorgeous. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos and follow me on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.